All I wanted from the Olympics was the feeling. Sometimes people want to win the medal, I don't know, to be more famous, they want to prove themselves. I didn't want. I just want to have the feeling of winning a medal. I wanted to know how it is. I am Thelma Monteiro. I am world and Olympic medalist, and I'm five times Olympian. In Paris, it will be my sixth Olympic Games. When I started judo at 14, it was supposed to be late to have this level. I always played a lot in the street, basketball, I used to run. So I feel like I didn't start from zero. I had some skills. I adapted to judo. Near my house, there was a little dojo. Eu conheci a Thelma na escola, então ela jogava futebol contra a minha turma e ela sempre foi bastante persistente, dedicada, super competitiva. E quando ela apareceu aqui no judo, foi através da irmã, da Ana Monteiro, que também já era campeã do judo, e ela apenas, apenas vinha assistir aos treinos e de repente foi convidada para começar a fazer judo. This place is the, my first dojo where I started judo. I just had to go down the stairs. I was coming from school or something and I would just run to arrive time on tatami. See, it's really small, it's not even one competition area with two columns in the middle. My sister, they were already training two times a day, so for me it was just natural. Four years after I started judo, I went to my first Olympic Games in Athens, 2004. I didn't realize how big it was to qualify. I didn't have so much experience in judo, but I was really a hard worker, a believer, a dreamer, and I was really, really shy. Observing everything around, just to be near some of my idols was amazing. I saw Serena Williams one time. She just passed in front of me and no one was there. When I went to the Olympic ceremony, I had shiver all my body and maybe there I understand, whoa, this is giant, like. Between Athens and Beijing, I was trying to affirm myself in world judo. I wanted to be one of the best by winning medals, to be sure I could beat anyone, make sure everyone knew who I was. Not just a name on the draw, I'm there to win. My first world championships was in Cairo. When I won the medal, I was 19 years old and I felt, okay, now it's for real and uh, I still want to win more. It's really interesting to see how everything changes and changes for better. It's really cool to remember this, my first medal at the World Championships because it meant a lot to me. When I arrived in Beijing, I was coming from two European titles. I was second at the World Championships in Rio. I was number one in the world. Teams felt easy for me at the time. My goal was to be Olympic champion. Giant disappointment to lose in the second fight. I was so obsessed with the gold medal. When I went to the repechage, I felt there was no reason to fight. Bronze would be not the results I wanted. I gave up. I didn't have the right maturity to face that situation. Uh, of course, now I would think twice, <laughs> but I was young. My heart was broken, but I was determined to come up again and to show I'm still here, I can do it. Then I decided to move up to 57. I was always putting challenge on myself. And so my goal was to be number one in the world. I'm laughing, but <laughs> because I was like this all the time. The year after I was second at the Worlds and I was European champion. Then the rules changed. I was forbidden to grab legs. It's what I was doing most. Judo was finished for me. My career was finished. Then I had again the motivation to prove you can change the roots, I can change category, but I still can do it. We arrived London. From all the disappointments I had at the Olympic Games, London was the one made me completely depressed. I lost in the first fight, devastating for me. I felt like someone died. But at the same time, this was like a moment to stop and to understand why this is happened? What can I improve? So I was obsessed to control everything I could control. Go to psychologist to do even more gym. I would spend more and more time on the tatami. I started to pay more attention to the details, kumikata and the way you grab. If you move your shoulder a little bit more inside, a little bit more back, step in front. 
on the Ajime instead stepping back, create a reaction where I could throw, not just win tactically. London changed me completely. I started from day one working for real. 2013, it was a turning point. I was really not happy. I thought about giving up. I was so obsessed on being better that I could not enjoy anything. Medal at Masters, medal at Europeans, but I went to Worlds, I lost. I said to myself, if I will keep doing this, I would have to be enjoying, be happy doing judo. And so to Rio, I was able to do this. I was European champion the year before. I was feeling great. I had won Paris. I was doing the training camp and I ripped my ligament. I was devastated because three days after I knew I had the surgery. Less than six months to Olympics. I had to put all my energy on physiotherapy. So mentally it was extremely tough. In Rio, my confidence came from work. I did so much preparation. I could be confident that I had the tools on my hands to perform. When I arrived, I was really calm. I felt happy. I felt a good energy. I went out of the apartment to go to the competition. I had this feeling like I'm going to do it. I am sure I'm going to bring my medal home. In Beijing, my belief was more superficial. I was confident by the wins I had before. The medals you have don't give you the next medal. The work gives you the next medal. First fight was really tough. And then the Mongolian, Dershan, I lost. And I had Pavia that the last years I lost more than I won. I was really ready for that moment. If I lose that fight, I would be out. Again, my friends and family and my coach from the club was outside. When I was walking to the tatami, I just have this feeling inside. I wanted to tell them, be calm, I'm going to win. Today it's going to be different. I started the fight taking one shido. I had this strategy to win the fight. And I said to myself, don't think about changing nothing. Happily ended in a good way. I won and went to the bronze medal. I get injury during the fight, three minutes and a half to go. I was winning by Vasari. I was just talking to myself, I, you are winning, we don't give up, you just focus on the strategy. I was just not ready to live without that medal. I was just not. I get emotional when I talk about this. It's okay. <coughs> when I step on the podium, <laughs> I was like, now I know how it is. It. It's not just about winning the medal. It's how much effort you put to something. And I put it a lot. Sometimes I still can't believe it, how much we put for a piece of metal. <laughs> I don't want to be looking back and say, oh, I could have done more. So I just kept doing. I suffered so much to arrive to Tokyo with my injuries, with all the pain I was feeling during the preparation the years before. My body was different. I was not getting younger, I was getting older. But I felt like I wanted to be in Tokyo. I thought it would be my last Olympic Games. <laughs> to stop in Tokyo, it's beautiful. It's the country of judo, so I think it's the perfect way to stop. But then I understand I can't not try. I wanted to win a medal, of course, but I didn't have this weight that I had before that I wanted this so much that I don't have it. I was just really calm and I wanted to make sure that I would enjoy everything, I would do my best. If I look from now, I didn't feel I was at my best because I was, again, coming from a shoulder injury. I was fighting all the year with the, this injury. There I felt I was good and I could do something special to win another medal, but it was completely different. I felt better when I finished Tokyo, found a way to manage this pain. So I was like, why not? I will keep trying three years. I feel really grateful and blessed to have this opportunity to try to challenge myself. I live it with a different maturity. I always try to win all the fights. I want to win a medal in every competition. This don't happen. And I had to learn to adapt to this situation. 
I come so far, if I keep going, I do six Olympic Games, I understand no one ever did it. I cannot try to do something that was never done before. I just, I just can't. I have to try it. I love the pressure. The strongest the fight, the strongest the opponent, and you get me on fire. I want to fight the best. 